Tigers taking the field here in Dallas, Texas. Offset to the right of Daniel on first down. Running left is Tony. Bounces it inside, breaks a tackle at the 20, gets to the 15, left sideline to the 10, to the 5, puts the shoulder down, into the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri, on a terrific run by Tony Temple, the senior from Rockhurst High School in Kansas City. And Missouri strikes first here in the 72nd Cotton Bowl. Hey, Mike, he shook a couple of tacklers, but I'll tell you what, there was excellent blocking on that left side. There had to be with Adam Speaker, Madison, and Tyler Llewellyn on that side. For Missouri from the Arkansas 5, Macklin in motion to the right side. Daniel hands to Temple running left. He stiff arms a man at the 3, dives across the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri. His second rushing touchdown of the half. And why not give the ball to the senior from Rockers? He's the man that brought you downfield, John Cadillac. Yeah, he is, and I'll tell you what, that left tackle, Tyler Wellens, really doing a nice job, staying with his man. Excellent job, and Adam Speakers cutting off the middle, doing real, real good. The offensive line, this half has done a great job. Done with trips to the right. Franklin to the left. Temple offset to the right of Daniel on his third down and one. Hands to Tony running left. Breaks a tackle at the three, skips into the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri. His third rushing touchdown of the ball game. Well, he broke the tackle at about the four-yard line and just went right on in there. Broke the tackle of Kevin Woods. Marcus Harrison shaken up on the play. The left tackle for Arkansas. And Missouri breaks on top 20 to nothing with 13.38 to play. Tigers showing blitz with... Weatherspoon and also Christopher intercepted. William Moore is going to go to the house. Touchdown, Missouri. Willie Moe with the interception return for the touchdown, his eighth interception of the season. A little out pattern here on the near sideline. He jumped the coverage and went untouched into the end zone. And he wasn't even close to the offensive receiver. He caught that ball like it was a pass to him. It was a terrific, terrific judgment on his play. Arkansas started two of two on third down. They're now since then one of 11 for three of 13. Third and long here. Dick hit. He's going to be sacked. Weatherspoon and Castine Bridges there to sack Casey Dick. Good blitz, man. I want to tell you what, that was a great blitz. The, the line was occupied by the four defensive players. First and 10 from the Arkansas 40. Temple running left, takes the handoff, cuts it back right to the 35, to the 30, spinning inside the 25 on his feet. The record perhaps to the 10, to the 5, to the house. His fourth rushing touchdown. It's a Cotton Bowl record. Oh, Mike, what a, what a day for Tony Temple. What a run. Now, he pulled up a little at the end of that run. I hope he didn't aggravate it too seriously because well, he pulled up. But I'll tell you what, he won't feel too much pain. He's helped up by his teammates and uh, is, is limping noticeably. But, folks, he's done now. He's got the Cotton Bowl rushing record. And another touchdown, four on the ground, another Cotton Bowl record. As he you... limps to the sideline and is carried off. Tony Temple being carried off the field by Chase Daniel and also one of the Mizzou offensive linemen. Nine on the play clock, 16 to go. Patton slides under center, takes the knee, and Missouri is the 2008 Cotton Bowl champion. The Tigers come to Dallas and hammer Arkansas. 38 to 7 is the final score on a record setting day for Tony Temple. Four touchdowns and 281 yards rushing as Missouri goes to 12 and 2 on the season. And they just, uh, you know, I think 
Rucker, Zoe said, you know, coach five years ago, you know, here we are uh, five years later, you know, with a Cotton Bowl victory. Uh, we'll be ranked somewhere in the top ten in the nation. And uh, that just kind of overwhelmed me. I mean, you know, it, at that time it was very difficult. And I think I've said, expressed that uh, this week a lot. Um, so I'm, I'm just so proud of all my seniors and what they've done.